To say I'm excited is a serious understatement. What an amazing place. Right by the road. Resort. I think I've come on the right day. Because we've we're having showers and um, showing about the road swing. Yeah, we're having, <laughs> we're having showers, but we're getting the light coming through as well. Oh, Bowman Bridge, North Wales. It is unbelievable. I love these greens, the ferns. Oh my God, it's amazing. I'm, I'm actually shaking. Shaking, I'm not cold. <laughs> just shaking. Not only that, I've just had a Mont Shabbat big breakfast. Oh, come on. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? If you've been to Mont Shabbat, you'll know what I mean. So as you can see, I'm perched on the rock. Slippy, but it's not too bad at all. I'm actually quite happy. And what I'm waiting for is that special bit of light. <laughs> it's nice now. That ambient light is so, so nice. I'm in quite close at 70 mil at the moment, trying to capture the close drama that the light's behind. Oh, it's looking amazing. There's some things I'm going to have to remove. One of them is that, that rope I keep on about. That's not a problem. That is not a problem. That light is superb now. Oh. The only thing that could make it better if we've got a beam of light come through. The light's catching behind the bridge and in front of the bridge. This is a phenomenal place. Phenomenal. We've got two trees overhanging from each side, so I'm trying to get it to frame in this shot. We've got lovely green foliage, sort of where you are, in front of you, running round towards it. We've got fabulous light at the minute, so I need to get that shot. And then it's just about getting this, this water, the right exposure. I keep saying it, the light's phenomenal. The light is phenomenal. I think it's worth me going any further back. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. I'm gonna have a look. Cause it might, maybe, maybe worth it. There's a lovely tree behind me that we might may incorporate. So I've actually move back and it looks nice it does look nice we've got this tree in the foreground here that's framing it with some foliage on the left hand side as well 
the bridge right there in the distance because the we've, we've quite wide open but 24 mil i'm just not keen on this bottom right hand corner which i'll probably darken up but the light hitting this this tree that's coming over is superb so i'm going to focus stack obviously foreground maybe even mid ground and background and then we'll do one for the just the water alone and we'll see if we can blend them together i think it's going to be a lot of blending we've got some sort of some sort of highlight above us which we'll have to get rid of or crop i can see me actually cropping it probably a um 16 by 9 to be honest just to crop it and that'll bring that corner in as well i'm not sure I'm not sure we'll see My boots are full of photography. Have I been filling my boots? Tried every lens. <laughs> Tried to get every aspect of it, weighted for light on each one, get foreground, get tight in, get the canopy above. I've tried everything. <laughs> Focus stack at the light at the moment's really good. We've got a branch coming over the top here, long lens. Oh my god, it's that light for me, it's that ambient light that we're getting, just that nice ambient light. We have had some harsher light as well. Oh, I can just imagine this in a foggy morning, mist with the sun bursting through would be spectacular. Life's good. So what I'm trying to do is get this, this foreground in, this foliage in the foreground coming in from the right to the left bottom and then the the overhanging tree from left to right top we've got this other tree coming over and then obviously the bridge in the middle perfectly framed all we need now is a little bit better light yeah that light's catching the far rock which is what i want it's obviously coming through this way oh it looks spectacular and it's catching the foreground as well this is the light this is it so focused on the background focus on the foreground we'll have a look at the the water see if we like the water are you zoomed in yeah well <laughs> we'll have a look at the water yeah that's quite nice we're going to get another shot there because that light in the background again well in the mid ground by the bridge phenom it's phenom What a super place. I can't believe it. Light. I thought I'd come here, spend 10 minutes. It's been at least an hour. <laughs> and there's only this little section you can really photograph. I suppose you can go around the other side, but that part will be in the way then. That light is fabulous. I think I'm going to get one close up with that beautiful light that's quite nice <laughs> the ivy coming over the bridge that's what does it for me and then we've got this whole wooden tree underneath that's just sticking out and then the light catching the rocks and then the foreground what does it for me what am i about what are you talking about you nutcase i'll get too excited calm down son calm down <laughs> Woo! <laughs> You know what? I'm going to do a selfie. 
Because you can get up on the bridge. You can get up on the bridge. And I'll go and do a selfie. So I'm going to set it on. Set it on timer. Get a faster shutter speed. 200. I'm going to stand on the bridge. I focus just below the bridge. Just there. We'll go into, um, into the menu. Intervalometer on. That should take a shot. Just continuous, continuously take shots. I'm going to selfie. I'll see you in a minute. Sometimes you make the right call and sometimes you're forced into a different location. This morning, I was forced into a different location. Two reasons, one's the weather and one's my hip and my knees were killing me. So, cause I'd planned on walking, go for a walk. So because of that reason and the weather, I thought, well, let's get down to here. The weather here won't make as much difference. If anything, it will help it. A little bit of drizzle, a bit of atmosphere. And I know I haven't got a water fire even though I've never been here before. And the results it's turning out are beyond happy. They really are, really is a spectacular place. And I thought it was a one shot wonder as well. To be, I've got to be honest, I thought it was a a one-shot wonder and it's not it's far from it this transition of light as well which is helping the sodden ground that the the foreground rocks that have got water all over them that's shiny getting the polarizer on the light the light that's changing look at the light oh the light in the background there oh oh Get that again. It's that. It's that foreground and background light that we're getting. The light coming through at the back. There's actually another bridge behind. Um, and that's the bridge you drive over. Well, you can drive over. And every now and again, we've seen big lorries go over and everything. Believe it or not, it's only a single track road. But, um, yeah, wow. What a location. What a location. I thought I'd finished and I've moved up. I thought, no, 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 what are you doing? So we've got one of these swirly pull things going on here. So I'm just trying to get the right exposure length, try and capture that swirl. And obviously every time you take an image, it's different. So I'll just keep taking images and pick the best one. Oh, it's, it's just, yeah, it's a, it's a yeah moment. It certainly is a yes moment.
for the light. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. You know, there's only so much you can do. I hope you, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this. Come and visit this place. It's just far, you turn, as you're coming down the A5 towards some waterfall place and a cap on the left hand side just because, before you come into uh, Betsy Coed. Three or four hundred yards down there on the right hand side. It's also Googled. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and hope to see you very soon.